Hello traders, welcome back to Trading with Bill. Traders, you can always see my website at tradingwithbill.com. Come and visit, watch my old videos on the video channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And not that I'm going to get my $200 when I get a million people, but it's good to see that people are watching videos and hopefully learning something and making some tips. So we got a little bit to talk about today. It's going to be a pretty quick day, not much going on. Um, we had some Aussie news that took the Aussie way up, uh, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Traders, let me introduce myself to you. My name is William Gilday, and yes, they call me Bill. Traders, I started trading in the year of 2006, 2008. I retired from a wonderful 27 year as a firefighter paramedic out of the great state of Florida. Traders, nine days later, came to Thailand for a three month holiday. Well, it's 2015, traders, I'm still here. Traders, I do trade Forex and options every single trading day. Always looking for opportunities with probabilities to be successful on my side of the trade. Doesn't always happen, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. In fact, uh, I lost an options trade last week. I lost a Twitter trade, but that's okay. It was on paper money. We haven't gone to live money yet on options. As you know, I stopped trading options for about four months, and I'm now just getting my feet back in it again. So it's it's um, it's kind of it's kind of fun, but it's um, it's a lot of work. And uh, I'm having a great time. And I'm, I want to make it so when I explain it to you that it's easy. So let me do the hard work and then I'll make it easy for you so you can do the easy work. And uh, you can find these trades. We do um, bearish vertical spreads. That's all we do is bearish vertical spreads. Credit, we call them credit spreads. And that's what we do. And it's working out great. All right, let's get the risk disclaimer out of the way. We'll get some uh, charts. Forex and options trading has a large potential rewards, but also a large potential of risk. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the Forex markets. Traders, most importantly, please do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Traders, always remember that past performance of any trading system or methodology is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, let's go over to the commentary. Commentary for today is, looks like volume and, well, I shouldn't say volume, volatility in the markets is really, really slow. Um, I don't know if any of you were trading New York yesterday, but I was trading, which would have been 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It was 10 p.m. my time, and all of a sudden, the markets fell like through a, through a big <laughs> big volcano hole. I mean, just absolutely everything just dumped. Um, it did later in the, in the session pull back up, but pretty much it was um, it dumped, and it's recovered some. So um, we... I had entered a couple of trades yesterday, new trades, I'll show them to you. Um, one didn't uh, execute, and that's all right. There's nothing we can do about that. So that one is off the list, and I'll show that to you in a second. However, let's get to some options charts. The first one we want to look at is the one I added just about five minutes ago, and we added the spiders um, for this week. So we are looking for um, price um needs to stay above the 206 strike price, all right? And then we have insurance at the 203 strike price in case the spiders comes down and hits the buy area, we have insurance. But we want price to stay at 206.04 until Friday, New York close. If price stays above 206, we stay in profit. If price comes below 206, we're not in profit. But now, I'm looking at DNA, and I see that it's coming down here to the bottom, and I don't like that. All right? I do like MACD that it's above the zero line, and I am not too thrilled with stochastics, even though I'm not too worried about stochastics at the moment. It looks like it's going to head sideways here for a moment, so it might kick back up. So what I'm looking for is that this, is, this DNA is going to hook to the upside. And this will continue to move up. I like that we ended yesterday with the spiders with this nice wick on it. That's a good sign. We'd like to see that. Uh, the only thing I don't, and, and we have a, I didn't see that, by the way. Um, we have an up arrow, which is great, which that's the personal pivots on the Think and Swim platform. And it looks like it wants to head to the upside. So pretty excited about this trade. This trade looks like this could work. We're only three days in the trade, traders. Um, Today is Tuesday, so we only have, you know, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and we're out of there, and we're in for profit. So let's hope we can get this trade to work for us. 
All right, let me uh, show you. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen here, this is the um, strike price page where you where you enter um, your orders at, whether it's a bear call or um, a bull put. Um, so you add a, you add that on these. These are the strike prices here, right? And this is all zeros because this hasn't entered yet. Um, this is the only thing with trading in Asia and doing options. Remember, everything in trading, I don't care where you are in the world, is always geared to the New York markets. So therefore, um, I'm not going to know if I get into this trade until New York opens, and that's 8.30 p.m. my time tonight, which is like four hours and 55 minutes before I'll know if this accepts this trade. But I didn't look for any bargains. I didn't try to get a... Um, uh, a cheaper price or anything like that. I put it in for what it was. So hopefully we'll get that and we'll look in it. Uh, put it put put in it uh, 0.15, right? So you know hopefully that'll that'll work. And if it does work, we're you know you multiply that by 10, and that's what we got. So it's not a, it's not a lot of money. The point is not the money. The point is the trade because we're in, we're in training mode, right? We're getting we're getting ready. All right, let's take a look at what we got so far, and this is what's going on so far. Um, our FedEx trade at the moment is not it's not doing bad because remember this is an August twenty first, I think, expiration. So we've got a long time to go on this one. Our gold is in profit, and our spiders, of course, we have zeros because it's not in there yet. Uh, TLT um, is not doing well, but again, this is pretty far out. This goes into September. I think it's September 4th. Um, this goes on September 7th or 14th, somewhere in September. So we got plenty of time with that. Tulsa, we are only $9 in the negative. So Tulsa, the problem with Tulsa is, you know, believe it or not, I didn't realize it, but we have a um, earnings report I think is going to come out on Tulsa. So we've got to watch that. Now, we're negative 394 on all our positions, but remember, we took that big hit, if you remember two weeks ago, we took that big hit and it was like a thousand dollar hit. So we've we've made some progress in some of our past trades that we've done, but we're, we're still in it. I don't like see this FedEx, it's in the money already. And I so we want this to get out of there. We don't want this in the money. Um, remember, we make money being outside the money. We don't want to be in the money. Uh, this Twitter trade should not even be on the chart. You can see it's all zeros, and I don't know. It's still still throwing figures. I don't understand why that's doing that. So I'll have to find out. Um, maybe one leg is still on. I'll have to figure out why this is doing this, but we should be out of this. This, this shouldn't be here. This should have cleared. And I thought it would have cleared by today, but it hasn't. But New York hasn't opened yet, so it might open and I might clear out of there today. Um, what's uh, nice is if we take a look at our Delta, we're only at 40. And as long as Delta stays, you know, like between 30, you know, under 100. As long as Delta stays between 100, we're doing good. If you look at Theta, that tells you about how much you're making a day. So we're making $2.83 a day on FedEx. Making a dollar twenty-two a day on gold. Spies, we don't have a figure. We're making sixty-two cents on TLT and um, Tesla. We're making five dollars and fifty-five cents on that one. So that's doing pretty nice. So we're doing okay there. Um, you know, so basically we're making ten dollars and twenty-one cents. Now they all expire at different times, so that of course that will change. And that's basically what's going on, my friends on the options side of our little trading plan. Let's take a look at a Forex chart. Believe it or not, I just entered um, a Forex trade, and to my knowledge, it has not triggered yet. So I have an entry um, for the Aussie dollar. Now, this is news. Aussie had data come out, and it was that three pieces of data come out, and I don't have it in front of me, but one was their interest rate was unchanged, and this brought this all the way up, and this just continued up. However, I saw this big spike here, 
And then I saw this blue candle. I said, man, this is just a perfect opportunity to get into this trade. And I want to take this all the way back down to the, to the pivot point. So I'm risking, I'm risking $93 to make $226, right? So most likely this trade is going to stay way into New York, late into New York. And, and then we'll, we'll see what happens, see if we can get out of this thing. Um, the bad thing about this is, is that this trade manager needs to be on and my iMac computer um, goes into sleep mode after four hours. So this might be like every two hours I'm going to have to get up and make sure that this trade is still alive. But to my knowledge, this has not triggered yet. So we're just waiting. It should, have, it should trigger. But, you know, I'm hoping this just drops like a rock. Uh, there's nothing really here at R3. There's, you might get a bump here at R2. R1, there's nothing here. And this should make it down to the daily pivot point. And that's where you want to take profit at. So I am in a live trade. <clears throat> you can see up top, there's my account number. So it is a live trade. I know you guys have been waiting a long time for me to get to a live trade. I am in a live trade. By the way, I do use Ninja Trader as my platform and I trade off of the Ninja Trader platform. I am a big advocate of Ninja Trader. I think it's a great platform. And the other thing is it's a great teaching platform. It is really awesome to be able to teach. I like the way they have their markings and how you can write stuff and, and take stuff off the charts quickly and stuff like that. So I'm really, really big into um, Ninja Trader. If you go to my website, you can get all the information, go right to their site and um, you know, if you, you can even trade basically on their platform for free if you trade so much per month with FXCM. If you trade with FXCM, um, or they have like hundreds of brokers that they're affiliated with, and it's just a volume thing. You have to make so many trades a month. And if you don't do it, all they do is they take $50 out of your account. So the next month you make that volume, you don't pay anything. Um, if you have the equity, I recommend just buying the lifetime license, which I did. Um, like, wow, I can't believe it's probably close to two years ago. Um, I bought the lifetime license. I get all the upgrades, all that stuff. Everything's for free. It comes to me automatically. I get an email. Upgrade this, do that, do this. And Ninja Trader 8 is due to come out soon, so I'm pretty excited about that. This is my trade manager. I always talk about trade manager. This is what this is on this side of the bar here. And you can see that my risk is only 1% of my account. I'm only risking 1% of my account. Not a bad deal. I'm risking $93 for $226. But there's a lot of pips that need to get gained here to get to that point, right? So that's what we're doing. We're just, we're just um, uh, waiting for this to come on down and make us some pips. Um, if the trade triggered. I hope it triggered by now <laughs> while I'm making this video. Well, traders, thank you for the, um, hanging out with me today. It is Tuesday, August 4th, 2015. And traders, always remember to trade smart, not hard. Please come visit my website at tradingwithbill.com. Take a look and you can see my videos from like the last week that I've been doing every day. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will get notified via email that I placed a video up and on to the YouTube channel. Take care, my friends. Have a great trading day. Please remember to trade smart, not hard. See you tomorrow, traders. Take care now. Bye-bye.